Okay, so let us now consider the sum of the first n cubes. So summing as i goes from 1 to n, i cubed. So this is 1 cubed, plus 2 cubed, plus 3 cubed, all the way up to n cubed. Again, the objective here is to find a shortcut for summing these n cubes in the form of a summation formula. And we can essentially copy-paste the entire solution given in the previous video in the context of squares, but now in the context of cubes, right? Any given cube contains within it all of the previous smaller cubes. So you can again take five cubes, the first five cubes, picturing it embedding them into one another, counting the small cubes in terms of their multiplicity, and you will arrive to the exact same summation formula as we did for the squares, but instead of a square, it will be a cube. So what you will find is that if you sum the cubes directly, this is the same result as after embedding all of the cubes into the largest one and counting them, these little one by one by one cube, with respect to their multiplicities, you will find the exact summation formula that we did with the squares, but instead of a 2, we will replace it by a 3. Replace the 3 by a 2, and that's exactly what we've obtained in the previous video. And again, the argument works exactly the same. All of the geometry works the same. There is no difference. Instead of visualizing little squares, you will have little cubes, but the counting argument is exactly the same. Right? This is the number of cubes on the outer periphery of the ith cube. You count all of the single cubes into the ith cube, subtract all of the single cubes into the previous cube, i minus 1 cube, and you're left with the number of cubes on the outer perimetry, and the multiplicity is exactly the same as it was for the squares. So I leave the rest of this as an exercise. You know, you can expand this out, simplify, multiply, use basic properties of summation, you can follow along the same steps as we have done in the previous video, and you will find that the summation formula for the cubes is simply n times n plus 1 over 2 squared. Remarkably simple result, following exactly the same footsteps of our previous solution. And you might ask, okay, this is for cubes. What if we wanted to obtain a summation formula for i to the 4 or i to the 5? Can we do it? And the answer is absolutely. There is no difference. The geometric argument works the same for any dimension, whether we have two-dimensional squares or three-dimensional cubes or, in general, k-dimensional cubes. So you can replace here 3 by any positive integer, and the equality is still true. Any one k-dimensional cube contains within it all of the previous smaller cubes, whether it be dimension 2, 3, 4, and so on. So if you wanted to derive, again, summation formulas for i4, i5, you would simply use the following equality. And so in general, 
using this equality, you can build recursively summation formulas for higher powers based on those of smaller powers. And again, I leave this as an exercise. Use this equality to obtain this summation formula. If you want to go higher, summing I4, I5, simply use this more general equality and it is exactly following the same footsteps that we have already done. So you can go with this as high as you want. Now in this course we will stop with I equals 3.